We recently brought you a story on a two-year-old Brookings girl battling a rare and fatal genetic disease. Tonight, Couple Lines' Carter Schmidt takes a closer look at Batten disease and shares how a team of researchers at Sanford is working hard to find a treatment. Good evening, Carter. Good evening, Don and Bridget. Sloan Murfield was diagnosed with Batten disease on January 20th. According to Sanford Research, there are up to 15 different types of Batten, and in Sloan's case, this is the most severe strain. <laughs> the news of little Sloan's diagnosis was devastating. This is not something we were expecting. Um, obviously we knew there was something wrong and we were very concerned just because of how fast she was regressing with things. Sanford Research has a team looking closely into Batten disease and some of its different types. Every child manifests this a little bit differently. All children are different. I can't emphasize enough um, that Sloan is a unique individual and you know her journey will be you know not the same necessarily and or as severe as other children. We still don't know as much as we need to know about this disease. Sanford Research President David Pierce says Batten disease is a group of different diseases where a genetic defect affects the brain. Brain cells don't communicate effectively. You know, think think about it. You know, you're trying to drive a car and you don't have a steering wheel, for example. There's no coordination there within the brain in terms of how cells actually work together. Pierce says, with that lack of communication, those cells start to die. As you're learning to do something, then you unlearn the ability to do something, which can include daily tasks such as walking, talking, or the ability to see. Additionally, Sloan's diagnosis is rare and fatal. I've been here in uh, at Sanford for 13 years now. This is the, only the second child I'd known to have CLM1 Batten disease. Melissa Pratt is a supervisor and project manager in the Weimer lab at Sanford Research. She says they have clinical trials for treatments and therapies for some forms of Batten. For CLM1 in particular, we are unfortunately a ways away from the clinic, but uh, we are making strides and we are working every day to find something that's going to help. Pratt says hearing news of a Batten diagnosis drives the team to keep looking for answers. We are also in it for um, helping the patients. Like We like to see our work translate and we are always devastated every time we hear of a new child with Batten disease. We involve ourselves with the families, we get involved with their foundations, we know these kids and um, so it's, it's always heartbreaking. I spoke with Sloan's dad, Kevin, today, and he said they are still at a loss for words, yet so thankful for the support they've seen from the community. They will continue to learn more about Sloan's disease with more testing and appointments. There are more benefits now planned for the family in addition to the GoFundMe. I will attach all the information with this story on our website. All right.